welcome back to my channel. So today, I, oh goodness, I am using the new Mount Cosmetics um, Dark Matter Palette. So they just came out with this for their 10 year anniversary, 10th birthday, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think they reference it as each one at like at different times, Not, I don't know. Anyway, so I say it's their 10 year anniversary when they started their company. So they initially released, like their first release was a stack. So it was a dark matter stack. This is the rust stack, but anyway, it's the same concept. So Melt would release these magnetic stacks that had, woo, they're so ridiculous. Like they were neat, they were trendy. It was like, oh my gosh, this is so new. Like, look at this. So this is the rust stack. This was my first stack. I didn't have the dark matter stack. So anyway, this is how Melt would, would release their makeup when they came out with like eyeshadow stuff. They didn't do palettes, they did stacks. So they decided for their 10 year anniversary that they were going to release the original colors from the stack, which I'm pretty sure would be these across here, and then they wanted to add new colors, so that's why they came up with this. And a lot of people prefer, for one, the palettes, but I also watched, you know, a thing they were doing, they were answering questions, and, you know, they were talking about this palette, and they were like, hey, because people were like, oh, you should have put it back in a stack, and they were like, yeah, but just think, this is already one, two, three, four, five, this is five colors, plus like the top lid which is a mirror and they were like if I had to release that because they put two four six eight nine ten eleven twelve there's twelve colors in here they were like the stack would be like this big and they were like that's not it, it's just not realistic so that's why they did it like this so there are some of their old school colors but then there's actually new releases in here so, and so when they released it last week, they actually had a 50% off sale on their website. So I ended up getting the brunette palette because I was like, eh, I never really wanted it. But then I was like, oh, it's 50% off. So I think I got it for $24. And I was like, I hope I like the shades. Meh, I mean, for what I paid for it, it's okay. You know, if you're like a Melt fan and you're like, oh, I wanted it, but I didn't want to, you know, pay that. It is kind of lackluster. I'm not going to lie, but I use a lot of neutral tones during the week. So I was like, oh, well, maybe it'll just be like an easy go-to palette. It's all right. It's not, it's nothing, it's nothing amazing. And then I actually got to the, I can't remember. They gave me something for free. I don't know. I think it was the eyeliner, but I also wanted to try their mascara. So I got... If you can see the brush. So I got their, was this called? Supernatural, Supernatural Mascara? Ultra Black Supernatural Lash Mascara. So I got that to try. And I got the All Day Every Day Eyeliner. Ultra Matte Eyeliner 1987. So it's just their black liner. Super creamy. Super creamy, so I'll probably use those two. Well, I'm not probably. I'm going to use those two other products when I do my look. So anyway, I think I've rambled on enough. Um, I am intrigued by these because I'm pretty sure that these are going to be more of like... So that black. So this one is just like a, a matte black, but something... I, oh, it's this one. This one is like a creamy black but like blendable oh that was nice oh that was creamy so I'm probably gonna use that I hope so anyway <laughs> I don't even remember what I paid for this I think it's like $54 somewhere around the line of what their like normal palettes go for when they first release them so anyway if you want to see what look I end up doing with this then just keep okay. watching so have you zoomed in does come with a mirror. I mean, it's not a bad mirror, not at all. But I like using this mirror because it's a full-size mirror and I can see everything. 
Let's get started. I have no idea what I'm going to do. I know I want to do a dark smoky eye, but I also want to play with some of these shimmers to see how they are. And I'm really thinking I want to go in with this color at some point. So I think I want to see this color here. So I'm going to go in with this color. I'm going to pick up this Beauty Bay brush. It was in that dark fantasy palette or dark fantasy collection. Let's see. Okay, so that doesn't have as much pigment as I was thinking. I was like, oh man, I'm feeling like this is going to be really dark. And it's actually not, but let's see if it's buildable. Oh, it definitely is buildable, for sure. Build this up to the depth that I want it. Whoa, that looks really bright on the, uh, on the viewfinder. It is. It's got a lot of pigment to it. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. It's definitely very concentrated, so like where I put it, it wants to stay right there. So let me see. So on first like application, I was like, oh, okay, this, this isn't like super dark, but I went in a little heavy handed on that second one and I'm like, oh yes, yes it is. But it's blending out so nice with this clean brush. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna take that first brush and go underneath the eye. I just always like this transition shade that I use to come down and connect with that top. I'm just gonna pick up a smidge more, just a very tiny amount. I think what I wanna do is I wanna go in with this color. And I'm going to pick that up on this Beauty Bay BB207 brush. It's just a flat brush. I'm going to pick that up. Curious to see how it's going to apply. And I think... Do I... I do. I think I'm going to apply that more in here. In this inner part of the eye. Okay. Let's see. I'm not getting a whole lot of color payoff with the brush, so I'm going to pick that up on my finger. Here it is, and let's see. It's such a pretty color. It's like a deep cranberry. So I got a nice application like that and then I'm gonna pick that back up on this brush. I feel like that's not. Hold on. I feel like I just get better application with that color um, with my finger. I'm gonna go in and soften that edge. Maybe it's just the density of that brush. So I think what I'm gonna do is pick up, I don't really know how dark this color is gonna be. I'm gonna pick up this Morphe M330 brush. It's kind of large and fluffy. And I'm gonna go in with the color underneath of that shimmer. They do have names. They have names and it's on this thing, but, oh, it is on the back too, so hold on. <sighs> what is that, Enigma? So I'm gonna pick up Enigma on this very large, this very large fluffy brush, you know, and it does get a little bit of excess kick up there. Let's pick that up, tap it off, and I'm going to go on the outer corner of the eye. I'm going to stipple 
this color on and then I'm gonna blend it through that crease like so I feel like some of that shimmer has like come off right there so I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that I'm gonna put it on I like how this color applied though it's enigma color so I'm put a little bit more of that shimmery what's it called flare yes the glittery color and then I'm gonna pick that up on and get some on my brush and I'm gonna use my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. The usual, let's get that wet. Let's see what happens. If anything, I'm hoping it'll help this color adhere to the eyelid and stay where I want it. A nice shift of color. I actually feel like they have a nice blend to them already. There's a bit of fallout there, but I'm gonna use that same brush and bring the Enigma color down. It's gonna be a blown out smoky eye anyway, and just get a nice blend of that color underneath the eye nothing too crazy I didn't even pick any extra color up at that moment in time to put on there and then I think I'm gonna go in with this color what is that gleam I'm gonna pick that up on this Morphe brush just a small brush Let's see. Tap that off. Just to open up the inner eye a little bit. Because it's such a dark, blown out eye. Bring it in here. And then I'm going to go back in with that brush again that I used um, flare on. And just kind of blend a little bit there in that inner corner. Like that. And I think for now, I'm going to leave that like that. And then I'm going to hop over to the other eye. And I think I'm going to do the same thing. I think I'm going to go in... Probably with this color first. Not probably. I am. Anyway, now I think I'm gonna go in with this color here. What is that? Fade. So I'm gonna pick that color up on this Morphe brush. Minus that fuzz that was on top. So I'm gonna pick that color up tap it off and I've actually switched to using this because it just it's easier I'm just holding it on an angle like this so I feel like I can see more of my face this way I don't know and I'm going to put that color ooh, that's really nice I really like that so I'm gonna put that in the crease and bring it up and into the inner corner Of that crease blend it out and again I'm applying the pressure up like this to help spread that color around then I'm gonna go back in with that prior brush and just soften the edge and underneath I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of that color fade put a little more there in the crease Get a little depth and then blend it and again I have hooded eyes so after I do my makeup it ends up being like this so I do tend to go higher anyway because I get that transfer color there so I'm bringing this up 
super blown out. Soften the edge. Bring it around. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up, let's see, what, what top brush do I want to use? I'm gonna use this OG Shader Brushes from Beauty Bay. And I'm going to pick up this creamy black color Eclipse. And I'm super excited. And I am going to put that on my lid. Ooh. I'm actually going to put that all over my lid. so dark nice and creamy and I'm gonna go in wrong brush I just put it pick, pick up that prior brush I'm gonna go in and just blend blend that just doing a nice classic dark smoky eye I'm going to pick up a little bit of that on my finger. Dab. I'm actually going to pick up the black underneath of it. And dab a little bit of that on top. So it's nice and dark over my eyelid. I'm going to take this Luxie 111 Mini Flat Angled Brush and I'm going to go into that brown color fade that I used and I'm going to bring this down here. On this lower lash line. Ah! It definitely produces what it was meant to do. It's very dark. You could do Definitely a smoky eye, but again, you have these lighter colors down here, so it doesn't have to be just that you're doing just a dark smoky eye with it. So I think I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to go ahead. I got to hop off. I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara. I don't think I want to put anything on my inner, on my inner, mm, do I want to put something on my inner corner? I don't think I do. I don't know. Let's do it anyway. Let me take this mat. Let me back up. Let me take this mat. I'm going to pick that up on this On Point brush from Beauty Bay. Pick that up and I'm going to put that here. I don't think it's going to be super light. It's not. I'm going to go up ahead, up on the top and above that and pick up some of that gleam. Because I think they'll add just a smidge more light to it. So I'm just going to leave it like that. It's nothing crazy. It really didn't even do too much there. I'm going to hop off. I'm going to do my mascara, put some lipstick on. I'm um, probably going to have to forego lashes because I've got to go. You just heard my alarm and I'll be right back. So here is the finished look. It's definitely super dark, super, just like it says, dark matters and super blown out. But let me go ahead and zoom you guys out. Ooh, let me zoom you out. So there you go. It's definitely, definitely dark and blown out. I like it. You know, obviously I wouldn't wear them like this together, but you have this option and then you have this option. I like it. I did get some fallout on my face and I used a brush to like wipe it away and, I'll, and I'll, I just smeared it, but it actually came off really nice with just like using my finger and like wiping it off. So there is that. Um, I just went ahead and threw on uh, this NYX suede matte lip liner in London. And then I used my Tarte lipstick in Skinny Dip because I literally need to run out the door. Uh, I do like 
the eyeliner. I used it in my lower waterline and then I used it up here, but I also did it just to get like the edges, but then I went over top with my Essence Super Precise Eyeliner to do my wing liner. And there's that. And then I used the mascara. Um, For me, I have a really hard time doing my mascara because I feel like I have like the tiniest, smallest lashes on the face of the planet. So it's like super wet. It's like super, super wet feeling. So I feel like I was making a mess on my lower um, lash line. Typically what I use on my top, I don't always use on the bottom. I tend to use my Benefit roller lash on the bottom because it has that really thin, precise brush. So I feel like I can really get into my little bit of lashes that I have down there <laughs> easier. So this one, it was okay for the top. Is it one that I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it again, but is it something I think I'd purchase again? I'm not really sure about that. Uh, as far as the palette goes, I love the palette. I like the colors. Everything applied nicely. Um, yeah, a little bit like so when I lean back, I don't know if you can see it. It does look like I have a mark here on my eye where the black is kind of wearing off. You know, is it that color? I'm not really sure because I went in and I was blending it out, but where I put the darker over top, it looks like it is there. But is it user error like did I screw that up I might have just one because I started rushing but two where'd the brush even go ah well, I don't know what I do with my brush well shoot anyway I um it could be me and then I had gone in with that darker brown and put it in so I think it kind of uh rubbed some of it away and I didn't go back oh here it is I didn't go back in with the brush and apply more. But I don't know if it's that or is it creasing and coming off where my eye is like hooded right there, you know what I mean? Cause it perfectly lines up with where it is. So I'm not 100% on that right now. It's kind of annoying because if it was to like close my eyes, I don't know where I'd be and I'd be like, oh look at my eyes. But you never know, I don't know. Mm, I think I need to play with it a little more to definitively be like, ah, eh, that's, that's a crappy shadow. I don't want to say that. But overall, I like the palette. Again, I like melts, you know, formula, for, formulas, formulas typically. So I think that might be a little bit of user error. And again, I am rushing. So anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, please subscribe. If you have this palette, if you have the original um, Dark Matter stack and you're like, oh my gosh, this palette compared to that, like you have some opinions there, let me know because I didn't have the first stack. So I don't really know. I'm not like comparing it to like the first release of it and like what it is now, like as far as that goes. But if you have it and you want to let me know about it, let me know in the comment section below. I like to chit chat with you guys. Um, but as always, I appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day or evening or whenever you're watching this. Bye.